The Bible reveals a multitude of names for God, each offering a glimpse into the diverse aspects of His character, attributes, and the unfolding narrative of His relationship with humanity. One of the primary names is Yahweh, found in Exodus chapter 3, verses 14 to 15, where God reveals Himself to Moses as the self-existent and eternal deity. This name signifies God's unchanging nature and His covenant relationship with His people. Elohim is another significant name, first used in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, emphasizing God's power and authority as the creator of the universe. It underscores His role as the supreme and sovereign deity. In Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, God introduces Himself to Abraham as El Shaddai, meaning the Almighty God. This revelation comes in the context of God's promise to make Abraham the father of many nations. The name signifies God's ability to fulfill His promises and highlights His role as the all-sufficient provider and sustainer. The name Adonai is frequently used in the Old Testament and denotes God's lordship and authority. It reflects the acknowledgement of God's sovereignty and the recognition of His rightful place as Lord over all creation. Psalm chapter 8, verse 1. As the narrative progresses, we encounter the name Jehovah Jireh in Genesis chapter 22, verse 14, where God provides a ram for sacrifice instead of Abraham's son, Isaac. This name means the Lord will provide, emphasizing God's provision in times of need. This event becomes a profound foreshadowing of God's ultimate provision through the sacrificial offering of Jesus Christ. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, God reveals himself as Jehovah Rapha to the Israelites, signifying the Lord who heals. This name is unveiled after God miraculously heals the bitter waters of Mara, showcasing his power to bring physical and spiritual healing to his people. Another significant name, Jehovah Nisi, meaning the Lord is my banner, is found in Exodus chapter 17 verse 15. This name is proclaimed after the victory over the Amalekites, symbolizing God's role as the protector and the banner under which his people rally. In Exodus chapter 3 verse 14, God declares the name I Am to Moses, signifying his timeless and eternal nature. This name transcends time and space, affirming God's self-existence and unchanging identity. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 14 introduces the title, The Holy One of Israel, emphasizing God's holiness and His unique relationship with the nation of Israel. The repeated use of this title in the prophetic books underscores the call to holiness and the exclusivity of Israel's covenant with God. In Daniel chapter 7 verse 9, the name Ancient of Days is used to describe God in a vision, emphasizing His eternal wisdom, authority, and judgment. This title portrays God as the timeless and wise ruler of all creation. Throughout the Psalms, God is often referred to as the shepherd, Psalm chapter 23, verse 1, symbolizing his guidance, care, and protection for his people. The imagery of a shepherd underscores the intimate and personal relationship God has with those who trust in him. The term rock is used in various passages, such as Psalm chapter 18, verse 2, portraying God as a solid and unchanging foundation, providing stability and refuge for His people. The concept of God as the Redeemer is woven into the fabric of the Old Testament, reflecting His role in delivering His people from bondage and sin. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 14 declares God as the Redeemer of Israel, highlighting His power to rescue and restore. In the New Testament, God is revealed as the Alpha and Omega in Revelation chapter 22, verse 13, signifying His eternal nature and sovereign control over the beginning and end of all things. The diverse names of God in the Bible are not merely linguistic expressions. They encapsulate profound truths about His nature, character, and the redemptive narrative woven throughout Scripture. Each name represents a revelation given in specific contexts, enriching our understanding of the multifaceted God who invites us into a transformative relationship with Him. Feel free to share your preferred name for God or any thoughts on the rich tapestry of names found in the Bible in the comments below. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Amen.